Hey GED students, I just got sent this word problem and I'm super excited. Charlene sent it to me from her college math class. I'm excited because there is a way to solve this using algebra, which is what I'm going to do first. Um, this is the standard way that most people would teach it, but there's also a way to solve it using just basic arithmetic and the uh, answers if it's a multiple choice, and that's how it will be on the GED. So first, let's try it algebraically. If you're like me and you love the language of algebra, you'll find this method pretty simple. If you just hate this method and you think, Kate, this is too hard and too complicated, stay tuned because I am also going to show you a cheat method at the end of this video. So two different ways to solve it, and you say, well, which way should I do it? Either way you like. Let's go ahead and take a look. It says at Pops Video Shop, you can rent six video games and two movies for $42. If you rent three video games and five movies, it will cost you $30. And then notice it says find the rental cost per movie and per video game. There's two things we're finding. We're finding the rental cost per movie. This is one thing they want us to find, and they want us to find the rental cost per video game. Two unknowns, two things that we don't know. Well, guess what? When you don't know two things, you're going to want two equations. Okay? Uh, in math, if you don't know one thing, you could just use one equation, but if you don't know two things, you would want two equations and that's why I say this is a systems of equations from word problems. I'm going to write two equations. So in order to write equations, I need relationships of equality. I need something that's equal to something else. So let's take a look uh, through this word problem looking for some relationships of equality. Look at this first thing you notice. Let me grab a different color here. It says at Pops Video Shop you can rent Six video games and two movies for $42. Okay, right there, that is the basis of a relationship. I see that if I do something, it's going to cost me a certain amount. It talks about the total cost of renting, and there's two ways I can look at total cost. I can look at it as, as a dollar amount, $42 dollars or I can look at it as how I would find the total cost. Well, how would you find the total cost? Well, you would charge yourself for each one of the movies and you would charge yourself for each of the video games. So that's what we're going to work with. But before we do, we need some variables. You guys know what I mean when I say variables? Those are letters. Letters stand in for unknowns. Well, look, there were two things I didn't know, right? I don't know the rental cost per movie. I want a letter to stand in for that first thing that we don't know. Hmm. Well, what would be a good letter? I'm going to use M, and that will help me remember that every time I see an M, it means the cost per movie. That little M is going to stand in for, it's going to take the place of the movie cost that I don't know. And then there's one more thing I don't know. I don't know the uh, cost per video game. So I'll use a different letter, maybe a V this time, to stand for the cost per video game. And now that I have my two unknowns, or my two variables, I should say, to represent my two unknowns, I can go ahead and write those two equations. So let's go do it. So remember what I said. I said there's two ways to talk about this total cost. One way is just to tell you what the total cost is. So they told us that if you go to Pop's Video Shop and you rent six video games and two movies, it's going to cost you $42. So one way to talk about the total cost is to say $42. But another way is to talk about how I would find that total cost. Well, how would you do it? Well, you'd pay the video game cost, the cost per video game. We said we'd use V for that. You'd pay it six times if you were renting six video games. Six Vs, six times V. And... You would pay the movie cost, that M movie cost, two times if you bought if you got two movies. See how it says six video games, six V's, and plus two movies, two M's. Okay, so six video games and two movies cost you forty-two dollars. There's my first equation. Now, there's another relationship. That's not the only way they told us we could go. We said they said we could also rent three video games. Okay, so if you rent three video games, three video games and plus five movies, okay, five movies. Well, if you do it that way, it'll cost you $30. 
And now I have a system of equations. I have more than one equation where the letters mean the same thing in each one. So whether I'm using M in the first equation or M in the second equation, I mean the same thing, the cost per movie. All right, now that I have a system of equations and I've written them, I have to use one of my methods for solving a system of equation. Now look guys, there's actually three different methods that are commonly taught in school. They'll teach you to graph the two lines, they'll teach you the substitution method, they'll teach you the elimination method. There's a lot of different methods. Um, so I'm gonna write those down. Ways to solve systems of equations. There's graphing, there's uh, substitution there's elimination and it frustrates to students sometimes why do you have so many different ways to do this well uh, because sometimes one is more helpful than another i'm going to use elimination uh, in this case uh, because it's the easiest way to go and i'm lazy okay so here we go elimination your goal in elimination <clears throat> is to try to get rid of one of your letters so right now we have two letters we have a v and we have an m that's too many things things we don't know so we're gonna to try to get rid of them. And the way we're gonna do that is by putting the two equations together. Now, right now, if I were to put them together, like add them together is literally what I mean. Nothing would go away. You know, 6V and 3V would give me 9V. 2M and 5M would give me 7M. I would still have two letters, however, I can manipulate equations. I can change them as long as I know that one beautiful rule that whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side of the equation. I'm gonna use that rule to force one of my letters to go away. And that's why I call it elimination, because I'm about to force a variable to leave. It's gonna get eliminated. Let me show you what I mean. This is what I'm gonna do. I know that opposite numbers will cancel. Like for example, if I had a 3V and negative 3v and I added them together, it would zero out. That's exactly what I wanna have happen. But right now, nothing is opposite, so nothing will cancel. I am going to force the v's to be opposite. You might say, why the v's? That just looked easier to me. If I multiply 3v by negative two, it will give me negative 6v and 6v and negative 6v would cancel. They would eliminate. So that's wonderful. Now I can do whatever I want, literally whatever I want to an equation, as long as I do it to both sides. So I'm also going to multiply the right hand side of this equation by negative two. Now you might be saying, well, why in the world are you going to do that? Well, look at what happens. I'm going to get a new equation. If I do this multiplication, negative two times 3v is negative 6v. Negative 2 times positive 5m is negative 10m. Remember that everything multiplies. Every term multiplies when you multiply an equation. And then on the other side, 30 times negative 2 is negative 60. Now I've just manipulated this equation. I have an equivalent equation, but the great news is if I add these two now, I will see this wonderful elimination. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the two equations. Look what happens. 6v and negative 6v cancel. 2m minus 10m gives me negative 8m, and 42 uh, minus 60, or 42 plus negative 60, it means the same thing, gives me negative 18. And why did I do that? Why did I bother? What was the point? Well, look, there's only one letter now. Now that there's only one letter, I can solve it. Uh, M is not alone. He is being multiplied by negative 8 right now. If I want to isolate him, get him by himself, I'm going to have to divide away negative 8. Again, I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. I'll divide that side by negative 8 as well. And then let's see what we get. Multiplying and dividing by negative 8 cancel, so M is alone. And uh, negative 18 divided by negative 8. I should be able to do this in my head, but I've been doing math for 10 hours and I'm tired. I get 2.25. So what did I just figure out? I just figured out that a movie is 2.25 to rent. Now you might say, well, Kate, that was only part of the answer. They asked me to find the rental cost per movie, but they also asked me to find the rental cost per Video game, well, now that you know one thing, you can use it to find the other. So let me erase this so I have some room to write. And we are gonna pick up one of our old equations. You say, Kate, which one of our equations? Does not matter a bit, I don't care. Let's go with the first one just because I, it was the first thing I saw. So six video games plus two movies equals $42. Now that I know how much a movie costs, I can put that into the equation and solve for V, the cost of the video game. Let's do that. 
So I don't know the cost of a video game, but I know that two movies will be two times $2.25. And that whole thing is going to equal $42. And now I just have uh, an equation to solve. So I will simplify before I start solving. 2 times 225 gives me 450. And I still have 6V and I still have 42. And now it's time to start working to solve to get the V by itself. So let's subtract away the 450 from both sides. Remember that when you're solving, you work the order of operations backwards. So you move anything adding or subtracting first. So then 6V is going to be equal to, let's see, 42 minus 450 is 3750. And now to figure out the cost of a video game, I just need to isolate that V, get that V alone. Let's divide the 6 on both sides. And I find that the cost of a video game is... $6.25. Whew, they're ripping us off. All right, so video games cost six twenty-five. dollars Movies cost two twenty-five. dollars And see how using a letter that makes sense will help us to see our answer there? Okay, awesome. So this is how someone who really likes the language of algebra solves it. They make two equations. They use one of their systems of equations method for solving. Great, wonderful. But a lot of GED students are just teed off at me right now. Kate, that was a lot of work. It's confusing. I hate letters. You've, there's got to be a better way. Okay, so if that's you, if you are the student who says there has just got to be a better way, I'm going to show you a cheat method. So what is this cheat method I'm talking about? Well, basically, it's guess and check. Uh, students wonder if like this is legal. It's totally legal. If you're on a multiple choice test like the GED, these would be multiple choice on the GED. It is a totally legit method to just guess one of the answers and check if it works out for you. So let's do that. Let's check A first. So A, it says movies cost $2.25 and video games cost $7.25. So let's see if this works. If I buy six video games, okay, so six video games would be six six times $7.25. I'd pay $7.25 six times. And uh, video games for, uh, oh, I'm sorry, and two movies. So two times $2.25. Would that really come to $42? I don't know. Let's check. So six times $7.25 plus two times $2.25. Ah, that would not cost me $42. That would cost me $48. And right away, I see that should have cost me $42. It cost me $48. That is not a correct answer. Well, let's check the next one. I'm buying two movies. So let's see, and six video games. So six times the cost of a video game, $6.25, plus two times the cost of a movie, $2.25. Let's see if this one comes to $42. Six times 6.25 plus 2 times 2.25 it equals 42 Ooh, so it worked out for my first arrangement but make sure it works out for both so, so let's try the other one if you rent three video games so three video games so those are 6.25 each and five movies so five movies and those cost us 2.25 each uh, it's supposed to cost me 30 bucks let's see if this works out three times 6.25 plus five times 2.25 and I see that did cost me 30 bucks and look right away I did a guess and check and that totally worked and if I was doing this on the GED I'd be like done already but just to show you um, that the other two won't work let's take a look so let's see six video games so six times 625 plus two movies uh, two. So in this one, it, the movies cost us two seventy-five. I'm just checking C. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. So to make sure that that one really doesn't work, six times six twenty-five plus two times two seventy-five gives me forty-three dollars. Ah, uh, close but no cigar. How about this one? Six video games, five twenty-five. Whoops. Plus two movies. 275, 6 times 5.25 plus 2 times 2.75, and I don't even have to check any second equations because that's $37. Didn't 
work. Okay, so B is the only one that worked for both my relationships, so it had to be B. Okay, so you might say, well, what's the right way to do this? Guys, the right way is whatever mathematical logic you use to get to the answer. Okie dokie. So yeah, your algebra teachers are going to want you to write systems of equations and use them to solve. But guys, if you're using good math, you are, you're, you're good to go. Okay, guess and check, check is a legit method as long as you check your guesses. You got to check them. Do the checking part, please. <laughs> All right. And if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topics, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.